Here I have a brand new Asus. It is still in the box. I'll be unboxing it and do a review. Also, I'll be taking it apart, see what is in the computer, things that can be upgraded, things that can be changed. Everything will be in this video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let me go ahead and cut off the seal. By the way, the computer is Asus M140K, and this is the AMD model. So in the box, uh, technically it's very straightforward. You would have the adapter here. This is a USB-C adapter. Nothing really special. Just a standard USB-C. Comes with manual instructions. And the laptop is here. And this is a lightweight laptop. And the color that I have, I believe they name it as gold, silver gold, I believe that's what it says. Uh, it's a platinum gold. That's the color of this. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look. Uh, what do we have here? We have a USB on the side, on the right side of it. And we on the left side, we have a USB-C for the charging port. HDMI, USB, and USB-C, and auxiliary jack. That's pretty much it, very straightforward. Um, and the computer. The keyboard feels good. And let's go ahead and turn it on. Hopefully, it still have power. Mm. Nope, it looks like there's no enough battery. Well, I will power it up after I take it apart. Let's get right into it. And the model here is the same. Asus M140KA, 1407K. So I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. Let's take it apart and see what are the things we can do with the computer, especially for upgrade, maybe a replacement stuff like that. So let's go ahead and take it apart. I noticed that the screws are not the same. So the one right in the middle here, much longer compared to the other two. The one in the middle as well. So the only two screws that are a bit shorter would be the top left and top right. What about the bottom one? The bottom right screw, screw do not come off. I guess the rest of the bottom screws are much shorter as well. So the removing part of it is quite easy, not that difficult. Except the bottom right screw, it doesn't come off. So which means the screw gives us enough room to go ahead and uh, pry the plastic open. So I'll be using a plastic prying tool. Just take it in between and just open up the computer. Very straightforward. Um, easy to open. Just want to identify this is the battery and the battery is right underneath the trackpad. So if you feel like your trackpad is not clickable, like especially the clicking part of it is hard to click, then more likely your battery is swollen. Um, given that if you always have your USB-C plug into the computer, when you overcharge any batteries, the battery would swollen like it would pushes from the inside out, uh, therefore it makes that touchpad, the clicker is hard to click. Pay attention to that. Now this is the M.2 SSD drive, which has all your information on it, like um, your data, uh, settings, program, everything is stored in this M.2 SSD drive. This M.2 SSD drive is 
512 gigabyte so you can actually upgrade to um, larger m 2 if you want to I would like to take this opportunity to introduce this USB M.2 adapter this adapter allows you to extract the data if you plug it in like such put a screw here to tighten up the adapter and plug it into a different computer and this would act like a thumb drive like a flash drive um, where you can try to access the data from there this is your wireless card which has the capability of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth this is your power adapter uh, connector you need to push that little metal clipper open where you can lift up the connector to disconnect the battery underneath here is your additional slot for DDR5 RAM if you have one of those uh, DDR5 RAM here you can install and insert into the secondary slot that means that this computer has a built-in RAM uh, I'm not sure where that the RAM is it may have been on the other side of the motherboard but this is an additional secondary RAM slot where you can add additional RAM to it your CPU is here and that is the CPU fan to take it apart is very straightforward I probably would not um, oh again the white cable is underneath then the black is on the top um, I would probably well let's go ahead and take it apart at least we can show it to you that the keyboard is not replaceable so if you're looking to replace your keyboard uh, this keyboard is not repairable that means you have to replace the entire keyboard let's go ahead and open up the little clipper right here this clipper here controls your keyboard open that up and slide the flex cable down this little guy here is actually maybe the back lighting the keyboard back lighting there's a little tape here and they have a little uh, clipper as well slide it out and remove that this is your speaker slide that connected down and that disconnect the speaker come to the top here this is your LCD display we just have to slide it away from you to remove that LCD display this is your webcam and this is your CPU fan connector slide it to the left open up the clipper here and slide a flex cable to your left that would be a controller USB on the side here let me remove the CPU fan pretty heavy and solid I guess that is the product for your CPU fan all right I'm ready to remove the motherboard try to re-tip them back again in a second so let me uh, remove some of the screws here we need to remove the screws that is holding down the LCD screen there are three screws here holding down the, the top right 
and there are three four screws here for the hinge on the top left Okay, once we have removed all of that, technically I like to lift it up gently, just enough to close it back down and remove the entire motherboard. I think there's one more screw that is hidden underneath. Yeah, there must be another screw right here because there are four screws on left. And there's one hidden screw right here on the right. So that is my mistake. Okay, let's lift it up again gently. And we just remove the entire LCD screen. So if you remove the screen, that's how you do it. And let's get to the motherboard. There's one, two, three, four screws, I believe. Let's try to remove all four screws. One. Two. Three. Four. There's one more flex cable here for the trackpad. Remove the little connector. And I think we are free to remove the motherboard. This is the entire motherboard and we found the RAM that this RAM here are pre-built to the motherboard and additional RAM slot you can install DDR5 right here. Okay, so that would be a motherboard and this is your keyboard. So the keyboard is one piece together and again, it's not replaceable. If you have a broken key, then that means you have to replace the whole palm rest as one whole set together. Hope this video is helpful. If you find this video is helpful, please go ahead and smash the like button for me. I really appreciate you for liking the video. Any question, comment down below. If you want to uh, reach out to us, please visit the website, ubergeeks.biz. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.